Hi, in this tutorial I wanted to cover sections and how we can actually apply a section to a page and maybe some of the best ways to actually use a section. So I want to take you from the start, from creating a page to the end. Um, now just so you know, I am using the theme Astra, which is this one here. It's a really good uh, lightweight theme and it works amazing with Elementor. So um, if you want the download link for this, please have a look in the description. Uh, without further ado, let's start. So if we head over to dashboard and click create new page. Okay, so now you can see we've got a blank page. Um, I've already configured um, my website to show a blank page like this um, if you want to know how to do it then send me over a leave a comment in the description and i'll create a video showing you so let's just have a look at what's on the screen at the moment you've got your widget bar which is here on the left hand side and on your right you've got where you drag all the widgets in and you've got a choice where you can add a new section or add a template okay for this we're going to be adding a new section and then you can see that we can choose one two three four and then all the way up to um six yeah six um sections now let's just start off with one for argument's sake so we've got one here okay so we can very easily drag in some text um drag in an image and uh let's say a button okay and just like that you've got yourself a um a design a page but what if you want to do um you want the image to go on the right hand side and you want some text a uh, header and some text like so um on the left hand side so how do we do that well add something like so. So all you really need to do is hover over this here and click the plus add column and like that you can see everything shrunken down uh, because this whole section has now been divided into two. Now uh, all we'll need to do is drag this image like so and then you've got what you want and if we have a look at the preview you can see it's now like so. Um, what if let's let's drag this back in here and let's delete this what if you want to create a whole background um a full page background so in order to do that all you do is click on this here for the whole section go into style background type image and I've got a very random image there, so let's just get something different. So let's try um, just textures, images, and uh, let's do this. Okay. Now uh, make sure you actually actually it's, it's a tad big this one. Um, no, let's do 1920 by 1080. Okay, so this is better. So let's just do this. Save image. I'm just going to save it there. Make sure you optimize it by changing the actual name of the image and as well as making sure it's not huge. I'm just um, not doing it for this because it's going to be deleted anyway. So once we drag that in, insert media, and you can see that if we preview the change again, see that now you've got a whole background there uh, with that now um, what we actually what we really want to do I want to click back head over to position uh, let's just do center center let's take off repeat and let's make that cover okay and you know let's um, let's change that to this and let's move it to the left okay and now if we have another look you can see that this background image now is only um half the page so 
in order to make it full full width you'll click on that again and you'll head over to height and you'll click fix to screen and then you click preview changes and now you can see it's the full width of the screen so if we were to let's just center this again let's center this let's uh, center let's center this button and then let's change this to white let's change the text to white as well and the button let's make it oh that's a bit big so that's a bit big so there's a few ways you can change the size of this button but seeming we're messing around with sections today um here's what i would do so i would go back to the widget dashboard and you should see something called columns so you'd want to drag that in and you'll notice that a border comes over here which is uh, where you can place it so i'm going to drag it under this image and i'm going to add another column there now if you look on the left again you can see that you can actually change the sizes of the column so if you click on this one have a look on the right you've got the outer columns which are smaller and you've got the center column which is bigger and now we've got those columns there and I can drag that button in and then just like that that button is already better looking um, it's not as stretched and yeah um, let's say you wanted to I don't know move this here drag this there and you wanted another button click just like so and another column and then just like that You've got two nice looking buttons and that, that's really all it is to sections that's all you really need to do is just drag and drop um, when you've got one section like so you can uh, add another section into it but you, and um, but can you see what's happening here if you try to add another section into a section that's already got a section uh, it, it won't work um, it just it just won't do it so you always want to try and put a section in um below basically and yeah that that's basically um how to play with sections i hope this helped leave a comment uh subscribe and have a good day